Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> All right, good this morning. This thing's teeter-tottering. Good morning, everyone. Right good morning. here from the fort. And we're going to start our morning off right. I don't know if it's right. It's delicious, but I don't think it's right. See that? Breakfast of champions. Today we have pizza. Leftover pizza from the Trails End last night. But no, from the P&J. Yeah, the P&J. And? We have brunch at the Trails End. And we just want you guys to look at the view behind us here. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Quiet in the morning. Mm -hmm. Now I will say, during like the midday or something like that, you'll start hearing some pool noise and stuff like that. So if you don't like the noise on that level, this probably will not be the site. But we mm -hmm. kind of like this site. They have don't the pool party. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See the activity. See the activity uh, over there at the pool, people playing volleyball. And all that good stuff but today we are gonna go over some Q&A and also we're gonna go over some activities at the fort for, for Halloween. Halloween we also have a date for you guys for the Halloween parade golf yes. cart parade you need to have that coming up bring your golf cart up <clears throat> decorate it and jump in the parade we're so. probably watching we I don't think we'll be in it because then we can't video it yeah we like watching everybody else's <clears throat> stuff well, we like to join. We like but... to decorate too. <laughs> but then we, like we can't do. That, do you can't, we can't do both. Do it. Yeah. So, um, so, let's go over activities first, Jolly. This All is right. important. If you guys are coming up in October here, you need to know this, and that's why we're going to try to post this as soon as possible. As soon as we can. So. All right. So, let's see. On Tuesday, October thirtieth, they have a site decorating contest. That's when people go all out. We will be here to show you guys this. Mm -hmm. It is great. The golf cart parade is October 30th. This year, 2018, from 5.30 to 6.30. And it goes usually on the main road in front of the, the main road that goes. The main, the main loop, the main, the main roads, basically. It circles right on the road. Yes, and which is uh, Meadows, where the Meadows uh, Trading Post is mm -hmm. on that road. Yep. Pumpkin decorating contest. Last year, there were some great pumpkins. People get so creative. I think they're yeah. professionals. Yeah, they, yeah. Sierra told us to go ahead and try to get in a contest, and we are like... I could barely do really? two triangles for eyes, an upside-down <laughs> triangle for a nose, and then uh, a mouth, like a little jag-jag mouth. <laughs> but... You drop off your pumpkins at the settlement, which is the back store towards the marina, from two to five. And then they do voting from five to 7.50. <laughs> the winners will be announced at the beach bash. <laughs> then there's a beach bash <laughs> at Clementine's Beach from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. And then that's where they're going to announce all the, the winners for the site decorating contest, the pumpkin decorating contest, the pet, the uh, cart parade. Then you can watch the Hello Wishes viewing on the beach at 1015. There will be a food truck there so you can pick up your goodies. October 31st, 2018, they will have a headless 5K run. I wonder if we're enough shape to do that. You think so? I might try that. You should. I'll put a you GoPro. I'll, I'll put the GoPro on me. We've I don't think a, I'll do done, it. We've done a couple mar marathons. But we're way out of shape now. But, but we were in better pretty good shape, shape to do that, and I don't feel like I'm in. I might half have the to shape. I might have to try it and push through it. I might try it. 5K might be much for us. It's only 3.6 miles. That, that's what I'm saying. It might be too much for us. I might try it anyway. We did do the 10 miler though. Yeah, we did. But that was that was pretty cool. A few years ago. I like that. So, Except for the last two miles. I didn't even mind the last two miles. <laughs> last two miles, I was dragging. So the pet parade, pet parade from 
4.30 to 5.30. And if you don't know what we're talking about, it is so cute. Go back in our last year's Halloween videos yeah. here at the fort and you'll see all how creative those people are with their pet costumes. It's awesome. It really Some is. people even matched with their <clears throat> pets. It's awesome. Yeah. And then they have camper treat where kids mm -hmm. come to your campsite to your campsite and trick or treat you have to sign up we didn't know this you have to pre-register your site at the bike barn so that right. they, they know so people know what sites they can go to that's right so they don't and if you don't feel like participating people. you don't have to and you don't have to worry about people coming to knock at your door at your site because everybody's got to be registered to yeah, do that. Yeah, they so have to pre-register. Uh, if you want to participate, that's cool. If not, you know, don't worry about it. And you can pre-register from October 21st all the way through the 30th from 9 to 5 at the yep. bike barn. There you so go. they give you from October 21st. So if you check in on the 21st and you know that you want to participate and hand out candy. Go right to the bike barn. Sign up. Yeah. We're gonna. Yeah. Go ahead. Food truck. We'll be there as well on the 31st from 4 to 9 at the Settlement Trading Post, which is back by the marina. And that's good. Yeah. I like the food truck. I didn't know how I was going to respond to yeah, that Yeah, we truck. weren't too sure about When I first seen that food truck, I was like, what is that? Yeah. But then I ate there. And, <laughs> and then, then it I grew said, on us. Yeah. And so, so did my belly. <laughs> so did your belly. <laughs> yeah. All That's right. why we're too out of shape to run the 5K. <laughs> Thank well, you, food speaking truck. Speaking of that, we're gonna have some of this delicious pizza from the from the uh, P and J carryout. All right. So what's on the uh, Q and A today? All right. So so is that good? Here, napkin. Hmm. Okay, so we're in 1321 right now. 1321, first time we've been at this site and we love it. We've actually, obviously, driven past every site over here at the <laughs> fort. And we kind of try to take a mental note. If any of you guys, just a quick tip, if you're up here, you have a golf cart, a bike, or if you're walking, it's always good to just look for future visits to see which site you possibly would like to stay at. Or maybe what loop you prefer. You can always make a request. It doesn't mean that you're going to get it, but mm -mm. you can request it. And uh, with this site here, you have tons of uh, space space between each site. Like we'll I can see the person over like... there, but it was it's probably a good twenty yards, I would say, away. Mm -hmm. So and that um, side too. And that side too, plus the view behind us, you have the lake, the pool, and everything else, which is really nice. But uh, this video is going to be Q and A. Yeah. And uh, we'll get started here. So, what's on the Q and A today? We don't have very many, actually. Oh, you guys are losing it. We're catching up to you. Yeah. And we're sorry if we missed anybody. Yes. So. Sometimes we come to the fort. I'll go a day or two without answering comments because we're here and we're busy yeah. videoing. So I know right now I have like five comments I haven't even been able to look at. It just comes up a little five. So I know they're there, but I haven't had time because it comes up on my phone. All right. So do you need to go in when you check out from the fort? And that's a good question. That's a good question. The, the answer, short answer is... Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. If you got a credit card on file, you don't need to. You're automatically set up for express, express checkout. Express checkout. So you pack up your stuff and you drive right out the front. Bye. Now, for those of you that are not connected to a credit card <laughs> and are we'll, staying at a cabin, we'll have to go in and check out. Yes. So, that's a simple, quick, fast without dragging it out question. Or yes, answer. answer. So credit card on file with them? Nope, you don't have to do anything, just leave. No, no. credit card. Yes. With that if said, you have some some charges. It doesn't pending. matter if we're up here a day, two days, or a week. We typically go ahead and uh, only because Magic Band makes it easy. Uh, when you do that, you can have it connected to your Magic Band, and you can pretty much buy anything. 
yep. food, mm -hmm. gifts. Souvenirs, which um, we usually don't buy anything except food. No, but you could get pretty much anything if you need a drink at the pool. You could use it there. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's, it's just nice. conven it's convenient for us, and uh, and we could drive right on out of here when we're done. Yeah, and it's nice because it's uh, convenient because it's waterproof. You don't have to worry about losing your credit card or money or your ID or anything. Just be careful, guys. It is convenient. If that means you'll be using it, if it's that convenient. Yeah. So we we've, we've done it. So we pretty much got it under control, other than our food addiction. <laughs> food addiction. Yeah, and drinks. <laughs> well, go ahead. Let me scratch that one off. Hey, uh, also, while what? she's finding out another question here, we oh, got a... I gotta uh, go get something. Okay. I think it's in there. I don't have my phone. Do I have it here? I don't have my phone, but uh, I forget who uh, me messengered me. I don't have the phone. But anyway, uh, somebody was saying how the prices are going up on beverages. Drinks. And like drinks. A like a dollar for a bottle of Coke or any Coke product. And then uh, I think it went up to 450 or something like that, a whole dollar. And then the drinks that I typically get, which are, you know, the ones in the parks or around here, they're typically about three, mm, 329, and they're going up to I think 399. They said. Now we haven't confirmed that, but I'm pretty sure that you know, for the most part, we all share information, and on this channel, and I. I believe that that's probably going to be the case that they the prices already went up now I've already purchased a drink on this trip and I didn't look at the receipt and if I get one today I will definitely confirm that and see if it went up they said I think October 1st and it's past that so just another thing to be aware of and did you find it nope. okay they don't give it to you oh okay all right, I was just going over the drinks. Oh, okay. And all, so. All right, well. So I was unable to confirm it. I know we got a drink already. I just didn't look at the receipt. No, because I didn't get a receipt. That's why I always bring my due. We try to bring as much as we can when yeah. we come. Except for today, it was like a one-day thing. We got to check out this morning. Mm -hmm. And uh, Unfortunately. just made it quick. So just stop up here and get something to eat. And then head back. Yes. All What's right. What's the next question? So the next one is that they've noticed that when we do our tours of the loops, mm -hmm. you know, we mention the grills. Mm -hmm. We mention the picnic tables. We mention cable, mm -hmm. water, electric. But what we don't mention is fire pits, fire circles. And there's a reason for that. You want to tell them why, or are you still chewing? All right. Wasn't sure if you were done chewing. All right, so here at the fort, I will insert a picture. Usually when you come in, they, well, they always give you like a, like a little welcome packet with what movies are playing on what night, what kind of activities are going on, different information that you might need while you're here. But what they don't give you when you check in is are the uh, approved fire things that you can bring in. But they do have it posted at the comfort stations. So I'm gonna have to, although I've done it before, I know those of you who have just joined us or it's, I don't know what video it is way back in the archives of our 100 plus fort videos. I'll go over there and take a picture of it and insert it now. Basically, it's got to be enclosed. It's an enclosed approved one. So Can't you, be an open fire pit, but. That's the short of it. But they don't have any available here. You have to bring your own and it, and it has to be an approved. What are you feeding the squirrels? Did you just feed the squirrel a piece of pizza? No. 
<laughs> What's over there? Is it a squirrel yeah, or a, a bird? Squirrel. Oh, someone's singing over there. <laughs> They're happy to be here. Uh -huh, so are we. All right, so that's uh, the fire pits. Also, what's coming up, also I want to go over somebody, a subscriber, Tim, that we met. We met a few people here, so yes, we hi did. again, everybody, if you're watching again. Um, Very nice people. All of them are. Yeah, that's and, what I'm saying. Uh, everybody was Tim, nice. Do you, know, do you remember nice. his uh, e uh, YouTube name? Yes, it was uh, Fort Fanatic. Okay. Because it stuck in my head when yeah. he said that. He changed that just for us, by the way, just so we can remember it. <laughs> yeah, we did. It worked. And anyway, um, Tim brought to my attention on this visit about the Wi-Fi situation. Okay, I'm going to try to go over that in better detail for you. And like I said, a lot of subscribers have, you know, when you guys email us or make any suggestions in the comments or something, we kind of like take that. We try and to we're pass always it looking, along. We're always looking to, to move the information along and also to provide more content here at the fort. Yeah. And to, Questions someone might have that we didn't think of. And to get back to that, it's typically just, Ant. you know, I, I thought I went over a little bit of the, the new Wi-Fi situation. Yeah, but he had good information. But like back in more. the day, they used to have to have a modem and all this other stuff that you got from the store. Now they have uh, designated Wi-Fi poles. Typically, there's going to be one in each loop. And uh, now you just got Wi-Fi. You just come in and do it. But I'm going to go into better detail next visit. We go through this, and and I'm going to. I guess there's a cable box you can get, and. Also, he had this suite set up with a yeah, with was, a movie actually, theater. Okay. And Did we video? I don't know if we video. Did we? But it's really no, cool. But it, he he showed me his setup at uh, his site over in 500, and it was pretty good. And also, what they were saying is, with the cable box that you get, you could also get a little bit more channels with it. I'm not 100 percent sure on that because I didn't go through it. But we will next but, time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna write try that to down. write that down. I want to try to go over a little bit more detail, Ooh. but that's just coming up. Probably we're not gonna have time on this visit, but the next visit we come up, uh, we're gonna stay for like a week, I think. Hopefully, yes, it's been a long it's time like since we stayed that long. So I'll we should sure be able to get something. a lot of stuff in by that time, right? Yes. So stay tuned for that. Yes. And thank you, Tim. Yes. Yeah. Oh. See. Good morning. Yes. The pool party is starting pretty cool let's get the road right. trip and party started yeah or this one okay so we have are there any other tours at the fort like in the fort besides the Segway tours I went to the front and unfortunately there aren't a long time ago, I don't really know if it was that long ago, they did have like a pirate, um, like a pirate ship that would pick you up at the Contemporary and mm -hmm. it would take the kids, it was like a certain age, 12 and under or something, and it included a lunch and stuff, and they would take them to the different beaches and they had like buried treasures, like a treasure mm -hmm. map and everything, but since they have fenced off all the beaches at the resorts, they no longer do that, so I thought maybe they had a new something that they did but nope so the Segway tours which we did mm -hmm. really cool they give you a lot of cool insider information about Disney give you a pin at the end a pin that's yeah cool. yeah that's cool a special edition like I went on a Segway tour pin or something and uh, the horse trails which isn't really a tour it's like a horse ride for adults and kids over the age of eight I believe yeah and that's pretty cool. You catch that at the front of the campground. Yep. We've only done that once <clears> since we've been coming to the fort. We figured, but it was hey, nice. let's try it, you know, because we've never done it. And uh, it was nice. Yeah, nice yeah. to do. I mean, if you're a horse person, maybe not, because they don't gallop. They don't. They're basically they trained don't to follow one they another. Walk. That's yeah, they walk. That's it. That's it. You're basically alone for the ride. Yes. And for the most part. Yeah. So if you're like a big horse person and you know horses and mm -hmm. you want to get on it and yeah. and you want to go through trails that are like steep and stuff, it's a very beginner basic. Yeah. Good for us. Well, good for me. You have to wear a helmet. Yes. And 
I know we when we were going cross country, we used to go on like horseback rides. Like in Kentucky, we and, went somewhere. Uh, you know, some of them don't require helmets. Some of them will let you just go right out and do it. You know, I'm. You, yeah. I have a little bit of experience in that since I had horses when I was younger up north. So to me, riding a horse is riding a horse. <laughs> But when you're leading, following behind, it's not that much excitement. That's why we're trying to explain this to you. Yes, I enjoyed it. People, he enjoyed it, but I, I would. It was still fun for me, just to, because I was with the family. We're at the fort, and yeah, and, and it's and, something and new. Stuff, to and it's something new to see. Um, but it's not your all out. If you want to get on it and ride, it's not. It's not yeah. that. But it's always good for. I'm thinking it's for this type of atmosphere, for people that are visiting stuff like that. Yeah, so, and they're very safe. Very. All right, the um, it has been a while since I've said this, so I went up front because honestly I couldn't remember what the price was. But they do have laundry cards for you to use at the mm -hmm. comfort stations. Now I forgot how much it was, so I went up, or maybe it changed. I don't know. But they're seven dollar laundry cards. You pay for it up front when you check in, or anytime you want, you can go up front during your visit. You get a $7 laundry card, that way you don't have to use your debit or your credit card because they do not accept money in the laundry area and the comfort stations. It has to be either a credit card or a debit card, but if you're not too keen on doing that, they do sell laundry cards. They're not refillable, reloadable. You just buy another $7 one. What happens if you don't use the whole $7? I'm not too sure. I'm going to write that down for next time. That's the question I would have. That is going to be... I'm going to write that down. Now, do they have uh, still... You're allowed to see your uh, laundry online and stuff yes. like that? Yes. Yep. I saw Go that. Go back in, in that video too, guys. It's That's called a Laundry. Cool... Yeah, Laundry at the Fort. <laughs> it's awesome. Because while you're sitting at the RV... Maybe I gave that information in that video if you have money left over on it. But I'll yeah. find out for next time. Um, when you're at the RV, you know when your stuff's done because it tells you what what washers on, what dryers on, right? Mm -hmm. And stuff. It's pretty cool. But some of you may out. even have washers and dryers in your RV, so you yeah. guys wouldn't use it. But, but for the for most those part, of you who don't, yeah. And if you're staying up here a week, that's pretty good that you don't have to sit there and wait for your stuff to be done. You know it's done by the phone. So. All right. Well. Next. I think this is. I think this is good. I know there weren't very many questions. Okay. But we need to make uh, a couple other videos. Okay. So we'll do those and then we'll have hopefully more Q and A's for the next time we're here at the fort. Leave all your questions and answers right there in the comments. You know Jolly writes them down. And if you want to email us, that's fine too. It's in the about and page. Get it. Yep. I'll go ahead and look at it and we'll write it down. Be patient and, if we uh, don't get to the stuff right away. We typically do. <clears throat> we Eventually try to. we will get to it. Eventually. We um, try to do it within 24 hours uh, unless we're here. <clears throat> then it'll be that weekend or you know while we're here. We're always open for contact, content suggestions too. Yeah or questions so. that might help someone. Alright guys that's going to do it for us today at the fort. Yes it is. <laughs> <laughs> so we hope you enjoyed this video i hope it was helpful we enjoyed it and we hope to see you guys here next time at the fort